Hello, people of the internet. Um, I decided to do today's um, YouTube video with March. High five! High five! High five! No? Oh, you're so cute. Because March is the best. So, today I wanted to talk about the fact that um, what well, I posted this uh, video to Instagram yesterday and I was complaining about people who were overly obsessing about material things and I stand by what I said a lot of people basically I was saying that I'm really fed this is not a good camera angle but to get margin and keep her relaxed I have to be like oh she's so cute she's so cute I love her I love you oh look at the schnaggle tooth um, yeah, so I posted a video and I was saying about how I was fed up of people talking about stupid materialistic things as if, as if they are really seriously important. And I feel bad because a lot of people messaged me saying that um, makeup, ex expensive or not, m uh, makes them feel better bec because a lot of people are insecure. That's why they wear makeup and it makes them feel better. And I have nothing against that, right? But a lot of people said to me, oh, but you you obsess about the gym and, and it's the same thing. And that's I don't agree with that. I feel like going to the gym is a thing that, you know, it costs me 40 bucks a month because it's 24 hour fitness, which is shitty, but whatever. Like you get access to all of the fucking, uh, sites for $40 a month, right? Equinox is like $300 a month. So anyway, um, but that is something that's like, it's for your health, like it's, and I'm not spending a shit ton on it. It's like for my long-term health, going to the gym and my mental health, it's, a, it's seriously important for everybody's mental health to go to the gym. But um, I don't think you can, can compare it to something like being obsessed with the ridiculously expensive clothes and, and makeup and, Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, like I understand a lot of that people like that, but my point was I can't sit in a conversation anymore and I'm not going to pretend I can't. It's my, it, I do my utmost to just stay quiet and that's the most that people can get when other people are obsessing about things that I can't understand how you could have time to obsess over. And I'm not talking about like someone who just likes interior design, that's one thing, but like people that are, all they talk about is the next materialistic thing. One thing after another, a new like, new designer makeup brand has released a new palette. I, I, I can't, it's my mindset. Maybe when, when I have a lot of money, I will think differently I can't imagine that I would, but maybe I will. But I can't imagine, even if I was the richest person on the planet, I can't imagine I would spend as much as some people do on makeup and like expensive shoes. And I do agree that you, in some instances you pay for quality, but I, but some the price of some like designer stuff, there's only a certain like level of quality that you can get to before you're just being ripped off. Like. I have banged on and on about Crossroads. The um, It's like a recycled clothing store. So you bring your old clothes there. It's like a secondhand store, but they only accept certain stuff that's like, I guess in fact, but like not complete shit. But um, I like complete shit anyway. My, all, almost all of my clothes are either from like uh, thrift shops or or uh, Crossroads. If you haven't been to Crossroads, I almost don't want to tell people this, but for the good of the planet, I want to. Crossroads is so cheap. Like, I genuinely feel like I've discovered a secret that no one else knows and I can't understand. Like, shoes, jeans, clothes, bags, for like, you, you can get like a dress for like $6 and it's like a nice dress. There are some stuff that's like, designer stuff that's more expensive, but you'd be hard pressed to find something that was more than more than fifty dollars. And I don't I don't go above the twenty dollar mark when I go shopping there and you can get almost everything for twenty dollars unless it's like a brand new pair of uh, like Nike trainers or something, they're not gonna be uh like twelve bucks. But still, um yeah go there and then you 
Hi Marge. Oh, sorry. And then you um you help with the whole waist thing, like fashion. I really like fashion, and I mean you can't tell, but I feel like if I had the money to spend on like outfits and whatever, I would love to do that. But I would not buy it from like look at the side eye. <laughs> but I would not buy it from uh maybe the I mean, I can't imagine only buying my stuff from designer stores. Like, some of it is utter shit. I want to do an experiment one day where you take clothes from a designer shop and put it in a thrift shop, and then you put thrift shop items and put, or crossroads items and put them in a um, designer store and see whether those two things sell. Because I guarantee the thrift shop like crap stuff would sell for ridiculous amounts in designer because it's like a mindset. It's like like I hate to say it but like everybody just wants to be accepted and if you are wearing the latest thing that is known to be acceptable i.e. the new a new designer bag or in a new watch that's that everyone knows how expensive it is and everyone knows your worth by you wearing it like it makes us feel more secure I do understand that but I just think like I just it all comes down to like psychology I feel like if we all Obviously, this is from a privileged point of view, but if we could all, if schools could find a way to budget to have each kid having a mandatory like half hour psychology, or like with, with a therapist, just once a week, from, from very young, I really think so much of this like stuff could be cured. And as well, diet and nutrition should be taught, but that's a separate subject on my previous rants. Um, but if we just got taught how to like accept ourselves when we were young, I don't think we'd be so obsessed with like the latest trends and fashion and makeup and trying to cover our insecurities. We're all like riddled with insecurities and it's what it's what creates a lot of the behavior that we do, like shopping in designer shops and like throwing out your old stuff because it's no longer fashionable and acceptable, causing huge amounts of waste. Like clothes, you know what? Apparently there are some uh, designer clothes shops, I'm not gonna name them, you probably have heard of this, that rather than give their excess stock to like charity or donate it or whatever, they burn it because they do not want, I don't know what they, like the poor people, lower forms of life as they must consider them, to be wearing their brand because it would devalue the brand. That is disgusting. That makes me feel sick that anyone's like, morals could allow them to burn a pile of clothes that would be worth lots and that money could be donated to charity but because of their image they burn it I, I can't but um yeah shop at thrift shops like if people are honestly I swear if people are judging you by what you're fucking wearing you don't want to know them their opinion doesn't matter I wear crap every day one day when I can afford to like I mean, I probably can afford it now, but like, there are just more important things to spend money on. But when I have a decent amount of money, I would like to indulge in fashion, but not because I want to be accepted, but I understand why that, I mean, I guess it would make me feel better to look nice every day when I go out, but I feel like it's a kind of art form fashion, same as is makeup. And I understand that, but I can't understand. I cannot, I cannot understand talking and talking and talking about some new belt, like some new like Gucci belt with a design on it that's like, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's all right, but it's like a $400 belt. I, I just can't, like, and jewelry, jewelry is beyond me. I don't understand. Like, jewelry is literally like wearing money on your chest. Like, this my mum got me when I was like, uh, I think 16. I think it's proper silver. My, uh, my necklace, my evil eye necklace that I normally wear, I found in a playground when I was 10. It must be real gold because I've worn it almost every day since and it hasn't rusted. I never take it off. This I got from a friend before I moved to America and I don't take it off either. And these, I think they're gold, but I got them from like a downtown jewelry mart. So who knows if they are real gold, whatever. But, and I, I think jewelry is really pretty. And if I had loads of money, I, I might, I might, I probably would buy jewellery, but, but when people obsess over watches and, and necklaces, I, I can't, like, I, 
How can we live in a world where there are people who are obsessing over different types of metals and there are people literally downstairs, downtown LA, their lives are in a tent. I can't, I can't, I can't, it's like, it's like the film High Rise, if you've seen it, um, it's, I was in and out of sleep during it, but not to say it wasn't good, I just was very tired, but it's like the high class people are at the top of the building, the rich people, and then as you get lower, the, the income gets lower and lower, and like the people at the bottom are living horrendously. Here, downtown LA is exactly the same, like, you've got like, it's so surreal, you have like, expensive ass restaurants, which are nice, like, it's nice, and like, you can look up and there's like, loft buildings with like, ridiculously expensive, like, really fancy, nice loft apartments. But then at street level, people are living in tents. And I'm sure, I'm sure there are lots of um, uh, charities and people trying to do something about it, but how can that be the case in 2018? And I know people will say, well, what are you doing to help? What are you doing to help? Like at the moment, I'm doing my best. I can't do that much at the moment, but hopefully at one point I will be at a point in my life financially where I can do more to help. And it's not just shoving money at the situation. It's like getting involved and actually physically helping, which I don't think a lot of people are prepared to do. This rant has gone in a lot of different directions, but the point was, it's sad that we live in a world where some people can be so obsessed with material. It's like, they've, they've got such little problems, your brain invents problems. Like, oh, I don't, ha I don't have any good clothes. I don't have the latest this, the latest that. My car's shitty. Like, you have a house. You have a car that works. You have clothes. You have shoes on your feet. You have food in your fridge. Things are good. But I have just, it's just a rant because recently I've just been hearing a lot of um, just uh, quality problems. I'm sure I've done them as well. I complain about things that I am privileged to even be able to complain about, but sometimes I do need to reassess and it's just made me think recently like how many people, especially in LA, I love LA, but the amount of people that are living extremely privileged against the amount of people that have nothing how can there be such a gap? There's very few people in between. Like, I, uh, all right, yes, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people, like, starving actors. You know, there's lots of people that are living in between, but when you compare it to somewhere like London or the UK, well, most of us are the middle. We're the middle. There's very few very, very rich, and there's very few very, very poor and homeless. Well, not very few. Compared to LA, there's very few. How can I be living... How can this place exist where there is... I, I, millionaires and people sleeping on the streets in such close proximity. How, how, how are they not helping them? Why are they not helping? I, I'm, maybe they are, but I just don't, I can't believe that this could be happening in 2018. This rant has not got much direction. And it is just like a, What's that word? A stream of consciousness. It's, I'm probably gonna get loads of people saying I've contradicted myself. I probably have, but I just needed to uh, get this out. Please, if you are in a position to help in any way you can, even if it's just not, not creating more waste in the world by shopping, by not shopping at like top shop and people that do not need any more money, shop at secondhand shops, shop at Goodwill because they are helping the situation. And you all benefit, it's not a selfless act. I'm not shopping at Goodwill because I'm a selfless Samaritan. I'm shopping there because they have good stuff and it's really fucking cheap. Like, do this for yourselves. Even if you don't give a crap about homeless people and giving to charity. You can benefit, I don't understand, you can benefit from it. So, the moral of the story, if there is one, is if you have a lot of money, please consider, like, not obsessing over bullshit material things and wasting your money on that when there are real issues, especially here in LA. I don't want to offend anybody. If you do spend a lot of money that you've worked hard to earn, that's your right. But I would just, just please, 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 like, 
just help help the homeless people in LA, please. It, it's I I can't I I'm shocked to I probably sound ignorant and naive, but I'm like shocked. I'm shocked. I've never seen a situation like this anywhere else in the world. So do your part. I will. I am. I'm trying. Everybody should just try to be a bit better. Not to sound like an ass. <laughs>